shit! <laughs> <laughs> oh, my cats! Move, cats! Must have missed the memo about giant cats being available as items in Mario Kart. <laughs> Seems more like a Smash thing, no? Hey everyone, I'm Marissa Roberto. Welcome to another episode of Bar Downloadable. Another week, another game company that's pissed off its fan base. Yes. This time it's NBA 2K who have gone under fire. And honestly, it's pretty justified. No one likes ads, am I right? Get out of here! How do you know what I want and need? That's the thing though. Why are you listening to me all the time? Well, sorry 2K fans, not only are there ads in the game, but they are unskippable. Yep, unskippable ads in a AAA title that you paid a lot of money for. It, this is pretty unheard of and 2K fans let them have it. Some were able to get their point across while remaining somewhat civil. I mean, why should someone who spent upwards of 60 bucks on a game have to suffer through ads? <laughs> yeah, we get the frustration. Others were less political about it as not a single punch was pulled. But what do you think? Let us know how you feel about the ads in game. Is it as big of a deal to you as it is to some of these guys? Let us know. Sports games are already bringing in a lot of extra revenue with their ultimate team packs. There's no better feeling than ripping a pack to find that super rare player. Did someone say ribbon packs? And rare. Rare. You may not get as excited as unpacking a $200,000 first edition holographic Charizard, but what do I know? I mean, I might not get that lucky, but my friend Philip Balky, professional FIFA player for Toronto FC is, Phil, what's the sweetest pack you've ever ripped? Best pack I've ever ripped is, uh, I think it was FIFA 17. I opened a 100K pack, that's what they call it. And I ended up getting Ronaldo. Hey, while we have you, you're a Toronto boy. The Leafs win in the cup this year? I think the Leafs are gonna win the cup this year. I saw that they just added uh, Joe Thornton to the roster as well, and he's an unreal player. All right, there you have it. Jumbo Joe and the Leafs winning the cup 2021 from Phil B's lips. Thanks, buddy. Thanks, Marissa. I want to give a shout out to Juju Smith-Schuster, who is a huge gamer and has always been an advocate for the scene overall. This past week, he actually launched his own gaming lifestyle company. A huge props for entering the space, but one problem, it's not the world's first athlete-led gaming and lifestyle company. Hello, Rick Fox, Zach Hyman, Kenny Vaccaro. We put Rick Fox up here, okay? You, you, gotta, you gotta meet him here. Tons of athletes have gaming companies. Oh my goodness, the disrespect. Still love you though, Juju. Still love you. We 100% support Juju and any other athletes who want to come up with their own gaming company or just support the scene in any way, obviously we're here for it. We just gotta acknowledge you did it first, okay? The esports scene would not be as big and as respected as it is today without Rick Fox. And for that, we salute you, King. As Black Lives Matter continues to bring change and create awareness towards racial injustice, Sony has released a new PS4 theme that people can get for free from the PlayStation Store. For most people, this is a fantastic way for gamers to show their support for BLM. But of course, somehow others are upset by this, saying, keep politics out of gaming. Oh yeah, that's right, there has never been a video game made with political themes at all. We've never seen that before in games. Sony is not shoving anything in your face. This is an option, you can choose. You can also choose not to use it. You have that right. And speaking of politics, how's this for a segue? Last night, Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez had a massive live stream on Twitch playing Among Us with some of live streaming's biggest stars. Pokimane, Hassan, Disguised Toast, Dr. Lupo, and more all participated in AOC's first ever stream meant to encourage people to vote. AOC was imposter in the very first game, something she was dreading. And unfortunately, Pokey stood in her way. I can't kill Pokey, she's so nice. I can't do that. Yo, can we do the thing? Ah! It was an honor. It was an honor. The broadcast peaked at over 400,000 viewers, and if that sounds like a lot, yeah, it is. AOC stream had the third highest peak concurrent views out of any individual streamer ever. The only two streams to have more views was Ninja in first place back when he played Fortnite with Drake. What an insane night that was. And Canadian Boy Shroud on his return back to Twitch. We're not sure how often AOC will be streaming, but her Wikipedia page has already been edited to reflect that she is indeed a streamer. Oh, she was good. That was three hours of riveting Among Us. That's it for this week's Bar Downloadable. Enjoy those 2K ads, everyone, and we'll see you back here next week. <laughs>